With all the hype around the new D&D set, it's no surprise that Prosper has rocketed to number one on EDH Rec's most popular commanders. Whenever a legend is based on both mana and card advantage, they are sure to be a solid commander. Put them in colors that don't always get the best ramp and card advantage cards, and you have a commander that everyone is going to be clamoring to make. And with everyone wanting to try them out, Prosper is sure to go crazy and take over a couple tables. This is How to Beat Prosper. We can break Prosper into two things, Treasure Ramp and Exile Card Advantage. Let's start with the ramp. When I try to beat a commander, I use three main ideas. We're going to want to punish them for playing that strategy, we're going to want to profit off of them playing that strategy, and or we're going to want to just straight up shut that strategy down. And punish, Mayhem Devil is great. Them sacrificing treasure means we can start whittling our opponents down. We can get to a point where we can just keep killing Prosper, or they can't play anything without us killing them. Over to profiting off of them playing this strategy, this is a great idea because one of the best ways to really go off in a given commander is to base your growth off of how your opponents are playing. Leonin Elder is great for any decks that have a life gain package, it's in two somewhat relevant tribes, and it's really non-committal and will gain a bunch of life. Mazurk can be your commander or can be part of the 99, but if you can keep your board safe, there is no way a Prosper player can keep up. Your board is going to be gross just after a casual turn. With that, Saralf is another great card that can lead your deck or be in the 99, and he'll get treasure tokens even with only one counter. These two are some of the best cards you can throw down in the face of a Prosper deck that's about to go off. Transitioning from profiting to shutting down, Bane of Progress definitely rides this line. You're going to get a lot of other people's mana rocks with this too, so the Bane of Progress is sure to be big. The Prosper player can choose to sack all of their treasures in response, but it's important to note that they need to tap them to make mana, so if they're running a deck that uses cards like Gear Per Aether Grid, they may have put themselves into a situation where they can't prevent your Bane being as big as it could be. When it comes to shutdown, there are a lot of options. There are quite a few cards that just say destroy all artifacts. Kataki is a personal favorite of mine because you get to watch your opponent squirm as they have to sack their treasure with no value. And the best part about this is that there's tons of versatility. If your friend plays their Prosper deck every now and then, you can run cards like Austere Command that don't necessarily need to be played against an artifact deck to be good. Or the punishment part of Crime and Punishment which doesn't go just after treasure tokens. You can also run cards that straight up shut down artifacts from activating. And as we transition into how to deal with exiled cards, Drain of Magistrate is the poster boy for shutting decks down in Commander. At the end of the day, if a commander is a real pain in your playgroup, you get this guy out real quick, protect him, you're golden. He just so happens to also help against the cards Prosper is trying to bring in from exile. I think some of the best advice I can give for dealing with Prosper decks is play advice. Pay attention to the cards the player's flipping. Stay alert. If they flip removal, don't play your best creatures yet. If they flip a board wipe, don't give them a reason to use it. If they flip a bomb of a creature, hold on to your removal. Magic as a game is so deep in part because you naturally have hidden information to hold over your opponents. Prosper gives their controller an advantage at the cost of hidden information. It is up to you to take advantage of that and play around these cards. And this isn't unique to Prosper. Most cards that work like Prosper give up hidden information and also have a time limit on when the player can actually cast them. If you play some heads up magic and try to work with that, you'll find yourself in a better situation. So there is how to beat Prosper. What deck's bullying your playgroup? Leave it in the comments and you might find that I have some advice for you in the future. If you like this video, leave it a like. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I post mainly commander deck tags, but I've been experimenting with different videos lately. Thanks for watching and don't forget to bolt your birds.